Hi boys and girls, we're going to have a story this afternoon. We're going to have a story called Romp in the Swamp. Let's have a look and let's have a see. So, Mum and Nan were taking Sam to see a new school. That was why Harry and the dinosaurs had to go and play with some girl called Charlie. Harry called their names but the dinosaurs were hiding. Can you see, boys and girls, can you see where the, where the dinosaurs are hiding? Harry's looking under the table, he just can't see them. Can you see them? Ah, oh, there they are. They're all on top of the table. Don't let Charlie play with us, Harry, said the Patasaurus. She might do bending on our legs said Ankyosaurus. She might chew our tails, said Triceratops. She won't understand about dinosaurs, said Skeletosaurus. Don't worry, said Harry. You get in the bucket. I won't let anyone else play with my dinosaurs. What took you so long, slow coach? said Sam. None of your business, said Harry. Well, you know what? It was a good thing that Nan sat between them in the car. Charlie and her mum came to the door to meet Harry. Harry hid the dinosaurs behind his back. Goodbye, called Mum. Have a good time. Harry and the dinosaurs didn't think they were going to have a good time. So that must be Charlie and Charlie's Mum. Oh, look, can you see the dinosaurs hiding? Harry's hiding them in the bucket behind his back. Doesn't want Charlie to see. Charlie went inside and sat on the sofa with her toys. Harry sat at the other end of the sofa. He guarded the dinosaurs and he wouldn't speak. And there they are sitting on the sofa. Can you see the dinosaurs in the bucket? Where are they? That's right, they're just there. Then Charlie went off and found a big basket. In went her dumper truck and her tractor. In went some cushions. In went some boxes. In went some pans and some plants and some string. Harry and the dinosaurs followed her into the garden. What's she doing? whispered Harry. There's Charlie, putting the dumper truck and the tractor into the basket. And some cushions. And some boxes and some string and some plants. What is she doing in the garden? I think she's got the hose pipe and she's filling something up with water. She is making a primeval forest! said Ankyosaurus. And a primordial swamp, said Triceratops. Oh, that looks fun, said Stegosaurus. went the hose like a great big snake. Looks like the dinosaurs are enjoying the forest and the swamp. Look out, Harry shouted. That snake might bite us. Oh no, he's squeezing Tyrannosaurus. Quick everybody, save him. Oh, look, the snake has got Tyrannosaurus. Who's going to save him? Harry 
Harry and the dinosaurs joined in the noisy game. Ankyosaurus went crash with the tractor. Scalidosaurus went bump with the dumper truck. Apatosaurus and Triceratops made a strong snake lead out of string. Stegosaurus grabbed the snake's tail. Oh, look, they're all doing their jobs. They're trying to rescue Tyrannosaurus from the snaky squeeze. Help me with the snake cage, shouted Charlie. Whomp, went the snake cage and captured the snake. Rah! said Tyrannosaurus. You can't catch me, Mr. Snakey. And they've got the basket as the snake cage to catch the snake. And look who's escaped. Tyrannosaurus has got away. Then everyone did a noisy capture dance because they caught the snake. They're dancing away and the snake's caught in the basket. Hooray, said Charlie. What should we do now? I know, let's all have a feast, said Harry. Would you like to play with Charlie another day, called Mum? Definitely, said Harry. Definitely, said the dinosaurs. And there they are, having their big feast with Charlie. And then there's Mum and Mum. And that is the end.